So if I had to sum up 2016 in one sentence, what would that sentence be? Um, that would be, what do you mean it's over? Um, wow, how this year has flown. Uh, there have been a lot of changes within the industry. There have been, um, you know, in our specific industry, um, uh, Nutanix uh, uh, went public. And, and that's, uh, that's big. That's, sh that's shifting a major change uh, in the way infrastructure has been purchased before. And uh, we've definitely seen, you know, rising adoption rates in, in 2016. I know us ourselves, we had a record year uh, in, in 2016. So um, I would say my one sentence is, what do you mean it's over? Um, it, has, it has flown by. So what are the industry trends going to be in 2017 and how will it affect your business? Um, so one, we've already seen uh, rising adoption rates for hyperconvergence um, and, and hyperconvergent infrastructures. And I think that is going to continue uh, in 2017. There is no signs of that slowing down uh, in the near future. In fact, we're seeing wider and wider adoption of that and kind of increased growth rates um, with our own organization. And I think we're gonna continue to see that. I think you're also gonna see kind of increased commoditization of the hypervisor itself. Um, I think as more and more um, you know, organizations either uh, kind of shift over to, to cloud-based metrics and, and even the hyper-converged infrastructure. There's a lot of things we're being reliant on, kind of the incumbent hypervisors may not necessarily be the best decision for your business and probably definitely not the best for your pocketbook. Um, I think you're also going to see increased commoditization of the disaster recovery and backup services. And I think this also has to do with hyperconverged as well. I know um, from what, what we've seen in a lot of the hyperconverged vendors, they're starting to integrate a lot of these features that you would probably pay, uh, you know, a third party uh, uh, for in those, uh, in those types of implementations. I think with that, you're also going to see increased um, basically uh, hybridization of the cloud. Uh, from my perspective, this has always been you know, an, an, an application determines where it's best to actually have that application run. It may be on premises and it may be in the cloud, but it's the application itself that determines where best um, that, that that should actually be run. And I think 2017, you're gonna see a lot of fast adoption for NVMe based SSD platforms. And um, there's a lot of technologies that are coming out related to NVMe. And I think, um, you know, one of the, the arenas where, where hyperconverged uh, uh, plays into that, it can take advantage of NVMe in which ways that traditional storage um, uh, systems cannot. Um, I think those are kind of some of the strengths of, of what's, uh, what's going to be pushing uh, and driving innovation in 2017 and how that affects our business. Well, interestingly enough, um, you know, that's that's the business we're in, in hyperconvergence. And uh, uh, we are seeing increased um, interest in all of those areas that I mentioned. And I think that's going to stem uh, uh, reasonable, uh, reasonable and sizable growth uh, for our organization for 2017. So if I had one piece of advice to give, uh, you know, an IT manager preparing for 2017, what would that be? Uh, and so for all IT managers out there, uh, what I would say is there are enough changes going on uh, within the information technology industry that don't just settle for the way you've been doing things for the last five years, 10 years, 15, 20 years. There are a lot of things changing in the way that, you know, um, infrastructure components and applications are being deployed. Look at the companies that are coming out uh, uh, in the hyper-converged realm. Look at the companies coming out in, in, in the cloud realm. Look at, look at basically, you know, applications and how those are deployed um, now. Because a lot of things have changed and they're going to continue to change and evolve drastically over the next five to 10 years. So don't settle for the status quo, uh, especially if you're coming around to infrastructure refreshes. Take a look around. There are uh, substantially different ways to, to accomplish your IT goals than what existed in years past. So definitely take a look around. The, uh, the industry is, is changing dramatically. And the final question, why should we work with your business in 2017? This is a really good question. I like this question. Um, well, for one, what we do at Scale Computing is hyperconvergence, and we were one of the pioneers in there. It was like us, Nutanix, and SimpliVity were kind of the guys who, who came out of the gate. Now, we started the company back in 2008, so we have been 
um, at this for quite some time. We initially released our, our first hyperconverged product in 2012, and the reality was there was a lot of R&D that went up front uh, between 2008 and 2012 that led to, to our product the way it is. We have grown that since we released the hyperconverged product in, in 2012 to over 2,000 customer deployments. Uh, so, so we have had uh, experience at deploying these. Now we also primarily focus our efforts on small to mid-sized organizations. So we don't focus on large Fortune 500 companies. Um, that said, we've got several large Fortune 500 companies that have decided to deploy our version of, of, of hyperconvergence. Now in maintaining those 2,000 customers, we've also maintained exceptionally high customer satisfaction uh, 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 ratings. Um, and on top of those high customer satisfaction ratings, we happen to be an extremely affordable product. If you look at the standard, you know, three, two, one way of doing virtualization, including like SANS, uh, you know, SANS servers and virtualization software, we have been, um, uh, we, we integrate all of those components and end up coming in substantially uh, more affordable. Um, we also are not dependent upon any third party hypervisor tie-ins meaning we control the hypervisor, the hypervisor doesn't control us, and that also is one less thing that you would have to license. So we come in being very um, uh, cost effective with none of these additional you know, charges that kind of hang over that. So we end up usually being you know, a, a lower cost solution for hyperconverged that is also extremely tightly integrated and exceptionally easy to use. So given that, we're simple, we're highly available, um, we're scalable, and we're affordable. Um, and those are some of the reasons why uh, you should work with us in 2017. Thank you for your time.